Erica's having a special breakfast. What is it? Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops! Alright, we're just getting back to the boardwalk now. Me and Mommy went out. We left the boys, we went shopping. We got just like gifts for friends and family. Things that we needed to buy that we waited till the last minute to buy. Because tomorrow's our last full day. We're going to Magic Kingdom and then we leave the next day. So this is kind of our last day to like buy everything and like get that out of the way. This way we can enjoy Magic Kingdom tomorrow. It's such a nice night here. To be in Epcot by yourself. Okay, so I just got into Epcot. I'm by myself. I'm meeting up with one of my good friends, Sierra, from New York, obviously. I haven't seen her in so long. She's literally one of my best friends. So we're meeting up for a drink. We're gonna go to Mexico and go to the tequila bar. She got a drink in Mexico earlier, but she just went to like the outside drink stands. So she hasn't been inside the tequila bar. Okay, 5.02, I left my room. Ran downstairs to the pool, had two slices of pizza at the pool with my family. Forget what time I left there, ran here because I had to meet Ciara here at 5.30 and I've been here for like five minutes, so I've been here since like 5.20. I ran from the boardwalk in like 15 minutes all the way to Mexico. I didn't even run, I like speed walk. Crazy. I can't show you guys yet. All right, we're in Epcot and I'm here with Kelly and Ciara. <laughs> so we went to Mexico, we went to the tequila bar. I got the piña loca, not recommended. It. It's so horrible, it literally tastes like aloe. Like I'm drinking a bottle of aloe right now. Um, or Ciara. Ciara has the horchata and it's amazing. Sip, sip. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> this is so bad. So I like grew up wanting to be an astronaut, but this ride always freaked me out. Me and my mom got in line for this ride probably like five times and I just chickened out every time. Like I would just like run to the exit without saying anything. Now I'm in Epcot by myself and I'm thinking it's 2019, it's time to overcome a fear and I think we're gonna do it on the green because green is 10 minutes and orange is 55 minutes and we I don't want to take that much time because that's an hour to chicken out, so I think we're just going to do it. I'm kind of panicking. It's fine, though. Oh my god, pray for me. I'm literally going to freak out. If you are uncertain whether orange team more intense training is right No, no. One. Thank you. Oh my god. You have selected green tea, less intense training. However, if you are made uncomfortable by enclosed dark spaces or simulators, you may exit the flight training area now. Ask a uniform crew member for directions. <laughs> as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It looks way worse than it really is because the whole time you're like distracted. They're telling you like push this button, do this, do that. So like you're constantly like doing things, you're keeping busy. But when the thing like did close in, like I kind of freaked out for a second 
second and you sit there for like a good minute and like nothing happens and like I was kind of panicking. There was a dad sitting next to me. He's like, are you okay? Are you okay? I was like, I'm good for now. Like, I might freak out. Then once the thing starts and like, you actually have things to do, like, it's totally fine. You're kept busy. It was a little scary at first. No, it was a lot scary at first. You don't even realize that like, you're so enclosed and like, that was so scary, but it was so much fun. So we're starting off 2018 the right way. We accomplished one fear so far and it's day two of 2019, right? Is it the second? We're done with being a sissy. No sissies in 2019. Thanks. Reward for going on mission space. <laughs> I'm no longer in Epcot by myself! <laughs> it's mom! Hi mom! Bye China, see you next time. Okay, so our plan right now is to go to Italy, get a drink in Italy. We've never gotten drinks outside of Italy. We've only ever gotten drinks like inside at Vienna Athlete. So we're gonna see what fancy drinks they have outside there. And maybe we'll get it here. <laughs> They have the Bellini. We got my Bellini. Mommy got her sangria. Woo! Okay, cheers in front of the globe. Woohoo! <laughs> no, do I? Can we go to Club 33? Yeah. Sure, let's just walk into Club 33 with our $15,000. Good night, right. thank you. Cheers. Breaking it up with some peppermint mocha latte and a caramel Bailey's latte. <coughs> Don't choke. Why not? Because then you can't enjoy your drink. Oh, I just thought there was something running, but it's a shadow of someone. Do you see that? Fun fact, if you stay at Epcot late enough, you'll oh, see yeah. all the Mickey Mouses come running loose and before the cats get them. And armadillos. And armadillos. Okay, what treat? No, no, no. Listen, yes, 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 but listen, if you guys don't know the story yet, I'm gonna tell you the story. One time in August, I was by myself, don't know why, probably going to the bathroom or something, just trying to find my way to the restroom. I got literally cornered by armadillos trying to go to mask ears. I'm walking, it's a long dark pathway. There's <laughs> you weren't even there. You left me to fend for myself I believe with the you. armadillos. Because yeah, then I saw it. Remember I saw it and I said, there he is. I did. Yeah, so they, they, they intruded in my personal space. These dumb armadillos. I just came after me. Oh my they really gosh. did. This is so good. You want to try it? Mm -hmm. Why is the Christmas tree here? They took the big tree out of the main area. Alright, where's Club 33? Right here. Mom, you just really... So if you guys are wondering where Club 33 is in Epcot, it's in one of the countries. Mom, I see a shadow. You're not, you're not hiding from anybody. Right, let me go this way. Okay, goodbye. It's in the America Pavilion. So if you're coming up to like the main entrance where you go see the show and stuff, you have the shop here. Club 33 entrance is right there. If you guys ever wondered where they keep the globe for illuminations, it's at America. Once it comes out of the drawbridge, it goes straight to America. Everybody's watching the fireworks, and we're already walking back to the hotel. Illuminations is occurring right behind us. Here it is. See it? Even though you can't see it, we were here. That was it. That was the end. Illuminations, reflections of Earth. <laughs> Say it. And we walk across the grass. It's cheaper. It's cheaper. It's cheaper to walk across the grass. I, I meant faster. It's cheaper to walk across the grass. <laughs> Then across the boardwalk, <laughs> folks. If you're looking to save money, take the grass route. Saving you money day by day. 
<laughs> via Disney Morgan. You're welcome. Oh my gosh, there's things falling out of the sky. It's Chicken Little, Mom. Chicken Little's coming true. Is that a vacuum? No, it's an alligator. Chicken Little's coming true. It's really Chicken Little. It's my favorite night at the Atlantic Dance Hall. 70s and 80s night. The DJ. I'm gonna go up to him and be like, listen, dude, play a song that I like. Play some Cardi B. Play some Migos. Play some Playboy Cardi. Something. I'm already out. Is it all 70s and 80s? Are there some today's hits? No. Yep. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. What's your name? William, oh, I'm looking for a bill. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm kidding, William, there you go, that's for you. Okay, so here's what's that. I've given you a piece of cardboard, and in a moment you're gonna draw something me on that piece of cardboard, okay? Um, anything you want, keep it simple, you know, dog, cat, mouse, duck, circle, square, triangle, flower, that kind of thing, okay? Whatever you decide to draw, draw it really big on that piece of cardboard, so at the end we can tell what it is, okay? And please uh, keep it a secret and keep it appropriate, okay? So, uh, yeah, Morgan, it was, uh, what was it? Graham, yes, um, Bill, and Jonathan. Go. All right, go ahead and start your drawing. Keep the secret, don't show me. I'll, I don't know. Away. It's your, uh, yeah, it's yeah. your big like moment. This so I can't see, it's parkour. Stay there, good. Nice, music's going, Anticipa anticipation is up. It's like Final Jeopardy, right? You're like, who's winning the cash prize? There's no cash prize. Good you know luck. I mean? It's gonna be like, what is that? Are, are you done? Yes, Graham, okay, excellent. Graham, I want you to come on over here and uh, you're gonna set your artwork face down there, put the marker there. Keep it down so I get perfect. Thank you so much, Graham. Who's done? Anybody else? No, almost, okay. Am I done? I, like I guess so, but you can't show them. So Morgan, all done, all right, come on over here. Artwork there, face down, marker next to it. Oh, oh wrong way, guys. Yeah, no, I'll say that next time I walk through your living room. Good, good. We got it? Everybody, your job is to take all of the artwork and shuffle them up, okay? I'm going to try to guess who drew which drawing. It's like Sherlock Holmes detective magic, okay? And just hang out here for just a second, okay, Jonathan? So first things first, here we go. I mean, if it's yours, don't call out. It's mine. I'm going to try to guess. And this is really cool. Uh, very creative. We got a, a face, okay? And very excited faces that, at that. Now, the interesting thing about faces is we tend to draw the one that we know the best, which is our own, right? We look at it in the mirror every single day. A good example of that is if you look at the Mona Lisa and the Leonardo da Vinci, the internet's already put the two side by side for you. It's really kind of strange. So all I really have to do is look, and that's obviously not her. Okay, good. Um, no, you're not wearing glasses. You're not wearing glasses either, so it's... Do you know somebody that wears glasses? That you drew this, didn't you? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there we go, good. William, that's one down, nice, okay. Good. And this person is really excited about Christmas and they're sad that it's gone. They're like, oh, it's like a little memory, you know, that they got. So, um, interesting. You just kind of look at people, and you start to slowly kind of figure it out. You know, the moms know exactly what I'm talking about. It's like you know when your kid put their hand in the cookie jar, right? And uh, for that reason, I know that Morgan drew this one. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. There you go. Okay. All right, good. Here we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. This is, um, this person, I think they just got rough. You know, they're like, you know what, forget it. Just go. Um, I, I think they went for one thing that they messed up. I think it's a pair of eyes or like binoculars or maybe two eggs, sunny side up. I'm not quite sure yet. But when I figure out who it is, I will um... see. So I, I made a few jokes about the drawing, and then through that, I can actually also deduce who it is, right? Like he's laughing, like, like, uh, what? He's taking it really serious. Graham's like, dude, don't make fun of my drawing, man. What is it, Graham? What is it? Oh, it's a car, gotcha, okay. Now, now, now I can see it, perfect. Great work, Graham. 